Hello YouTube, um, Facebook the 5000 here again on my tutorial on how to hack Intosh DMV30. I was originally going to do this on a virtual machine, but, uh, I ended up fucking up the network driver on the MB30 again because in the end I didn't end up reinstalling Windows. But, eh, it screwed up again, so here is my tutorial. Now, first thing you're going to need is an external DVD drive. I've got one right there. You're going to need a blank DVD. And you're going to need to download the link in the description. Um, I don't know how well you can see my screen there, but you're going to need to burn DVD using any ISO burning program that you want. I will probably be using Active ISO. Uh, there we are. Okay, there is DVD. Stick the mic disc in the drive. and then run your ISO burning program. Fucking iTunes, man. Well, come on. There we go. Right speed, 4x, I guess. You're going to want to run this at the 4 times right speed, just because it will make sure there is no corrupted sectors, etc. Make sure the verify option is checked. and Well, it won't really make sure there's no corrupted sectors, but it helps the slower right speed so it's not being rushed. And by the way, guys, if the video length, go length goes over 15 minutes, I'm going to have to break this up into two parts because of YouTube's uh, stupider rules when it comes to lengthy videos. Alright then, once your disc is burned, you're going to want to take it out of your drive from the Windows PC and stick it in your external disk drive. then reboot the computer. Now as a warning, it may take a couple tries before I get into the um, boot menu. I haven't done this in a while. But seeing how the drive is plugged in and working, it should be fine. If memory serves, I don't have to go into the BIOS, I might. Or BIOS, rather, not BIOS. Oh, and by the way, just a side note before I forget, you are going to need um, uTorrent to download the um, <coughs> Mac OS X DVD if memory serves that is necessary. I mean, you can check out the download link for yourself and make sure if you want. Anyway, so once the disk is in, you're going to get a bunch of streaming code. It's, first thing it's going to say is press any key to boot from the disk like you would with a Windows disk. Then you're going to get a bunch of streaming code on the screen similar to when you're jailbreaking an iPhone or iPod Touch. And apparently this fucked up for whatever reason. Any key to start with this. There we go. And there is the same kind of uh, white streaming code as you would see when you're jailbreaking any eye device. So just wait for this to finish and do its thing, and it will go into the Mac OS X installer.
Alright, so once that scrolling text is done, you should be... You should start off with a little gray screen with the spinner on it, and then it should move to the leopard background, and then you'll get this little pop-up right here. Select your language. Press the button in the corner there. It's going to say preparing installation. This may take a little while to... Alright, when this comes up, don't click continue on the installer yet. You need to go to utilities, disk utility, for that to load. Select your hard disk. Click on Erase. And you're going to want to select for format Mac OS X Extended Journaled. And it really does not matter what you name the. It really does not matter what you name the disk, so. Type in whatever, and click the little button here that says Erase. If that pop-up comes up, press Erase again. Then wait for the little bar in the lower right corner to complete. And by the way, before I forget, it's probably a good idea to have your MB30 plugged in. If your battery dies, that would be very, very bad. Shit, what did I do? What's next? Odd. Okay, I know what happened. Never mind. So once that's done, just exit out of disk utility. Let's continue on the installer. Press agree on this. Where it says where do you want to install Mac OS X, just wait for your hard drive to come up. There. Now on the select destination. Just select your disk, click continue, press install, and then you basically just wait for this to complete. First it's going to say checking the installation DVD, that's just making sure you don't have any bad sectors or install or errors on the disk that you burned. Skip it, don't skip it, doesn't really matter. I recommend that you don't just to make sure you don't have a corrupt disk or whatever, but I will in this video because I'm running out of space. And alright. Then it's just going to say time remaining calculating, and then you're going to have the bar going from the left to the right instead of that spiral. There. Um, I will be back when this bar completes. Basically at this point in time, all you need to do is just wait for the bar to finish and your computer to restart. So. Alright then guys, when um, the installation is done, it'll say install successful, you must restart your computer, and then it will do so automatically, or you can just tap the button there. And then it's going to do its whole, you know, restart thing. Then, when that's done, unplug your disk drive from the computer. Press any key to enter startup options, and you're going to want to put in dash S. 
This is because that the network drivers on the MB30 are not compatible with OSX and will cause the ordinary setup to keep looping. So then enter in the script on the video and it will essentially make OSX think it has already run. And just one second, let me get this up on my Windows computer here. Slash S bin slash F S C K dash F Y S B I N slash F S C K space dash F Y and hit enter. Wait for it to do its little thing there. Just so you know, the script is not to be typed in all at once, it is line by line. So that's just basically checking the entire volume, making sure everything was installed properly. Then type slash S B I N slash mount M O U N T uh, space dash U W space forward slash and type touch space slash v a r slash d b slash dot capital a P P L E capital S E T U P capital D O N E then hit enter. Then type P A S S W D space R O O T and hit enter. and then enter in whatever password that you want your new password to be. Hit enter. And then retype it. Hit enter again. And there you go. And when that's done, type exit. And hit enter. This will restart your computer and it should boot like normal, only you will not be at the setup screen, you will be at the login screen. Your username will be root, R-O-O-T, and your password will be whatever password that you typed in on that scripting screen. So just wait for it to boot up here to show you guys. And there, that's the login screen. So root, and then my password. Hit enter. Logs in as system administrator. And there. That is OS X on a Samsung NB30 Hackintosh tutorial done for you guys. Registration information, fuck that, you don't have to enter that in. And alright, again guys, the networking does not work on this. You need to get a network card that is compatible with OS X and the MB30 and install it on the laptop. Um, another YouTube user recommended a card that he said works. Uh, check out my MB30 Hackintosh video and it will be there in one of the comments. I'll also have the name of it in the description. So that's it. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks.